Hey, what's up guys? How we doing? So today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, fielding from the ground up. It's something that, you know, a lot of infielders have probably heard before. Maybe guys at younger levels haven't heard it as much, but I know it's something that, um, you know, at the, at the college level and the professional level, you're going to hear it all the time. And um, when I'm working with, with our young players, um, you know, it's something that young players don't do very often, but it's it's one of the most important parts of being a good fielder is fielding from the ground up and getting low. Um, so we're going to show Brandon Crawford doing it here with the Giants. And if you watch, you know, when you watch major league games, um, watch the infielders. And the biggest difference that that I really see, and it's something I noticed when I went from college to pro ball and I started working or playing with and against really, really good fielders, some of the best fielders in the world. And I was able to talk to a lot of the really good fielders. And, um, you know, most fielders would talk about, you know, the secret is to get down low, to field from the ground up, and to get your eyes really in the action. Um, so I think it's extremely important, and that's why I wanted to talk about it today a little bit. So let's let's rewind this again, and we'll, we'll go through it. Um, you know, first we'll just watch Crawford. Here's a ground ball, backhand side. And you can see how low he gets to the ground and how his glove starts low and it's going to work from down to up. Uh, a lot of young players, instead of working down to up, they will have their glove up here and they'll work from high to low or from up to down. You know, really good fielders work low to high. Just like this. Again, so why why is it so important? Why does it make a big difference? A um, couple of things. First, it's a lot easier to make an adjustment this way, to make it from, from low to high. It's a lot tougher to make an adjustment from high to low. And if you think about it, most balls that you feel, whether it's a short hop or an in-between hop or a long hop, the ball is going to be bouncing up. I mean, that's usually when you're going to feel the ball on the on the up bounce so it's a lot easier to work the glove the same way the ball's bouncing it's a lot harder when the ball's bouncing up and you're working from high to low in the opposite direction it's really really tough to make an adjustment or just to to field the ball more consistently um, so that's the first big reason why it's it's easier to feel the ball working from the ground up instead of working from high to low the second thing is I know it gets cut off here a little bit and let's let's fast forward for a second to the next clip because it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so the closer you can get your eyes in the action and the closer you can get your eyes to the ball, the easier it is to field. Um, I talk a lot with infielders. Um, I make the um, comparison to bunting. And if you watch good bunters or great bunters, what you'll see is they get the, their eyes right behind the barrel of the bat when they're bunting. If you watch a bad bunter, what you're going to see is you'll see a really large distance from the eyes to the barrel of the bat. Um, so watch the next time you're watching really good bunters, and you'll notice they put the good bunters put their eyes literally right behind the barrel so that their eyes are really close to the ball and to what they're trying to hit the ball with. Well, it's the same thing in fielding. You want your eyes to be as close to the glove and to the ball as you can. If you can get all that in the same view and you can get them close, you're going to have a good chance of fielding it. Young fielders don't get this low. Their head's up here, the ball's down here, it's a really big distance, and they miss a lot more times than not. Um, and that's the same with any sport. I mean, any sport where you're catching a ball, you're, you want your eyes close to where, whatever it is you're trying to catch, and it's no different in baseball. And remember, this isn't just for backhand balls. I mean, this is for forehand balls, this is for balls right at you. You have to get low. You have to bend your knees, you have to bend at the waist, you have to get your, your back flat, and that's going to get your head closer to the ball. Um, and it's not easy work. Being a good defender and getting in your legs isn't easy. I mean, that's why a lot of young players don't do it, because um, it takes work to play low, to play down, close to the ground, um, especially in practice when you're going to field 50, 100 baseballs. Whoops. Hold on one second. Let me back it up here. So like I was saying, it, it's it's hard work to get in your legs and to work from the ground up, especially in practice when you're going 50 or 100 baseballs. I mean, 
uh, if you haven't done it before, your legs get tired and they burn. But if you want to be a good fielder, um, you're going to have to play low to the ground. You have to play from the ground up. Um, or you won't be an infielder for very long. You'll be moved uh, probably to the outfield. So keep this in mind when you're fielding. Work from the ground up. Work from low to high. Get your eyes in the action. Get your glove on the ground early um, so that you can work from the ground up. If you do that, you're going to be a much better fielder. I know from experience, um, you know, it's one of the big things that I really worked on as I got older and when I got to professional baseball is trying to keep my eyes low, keep my body low to the ground. All the best infielders are doing it. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, send it to all your friends. All that good stuff. Oh, yeah, comment in the section below. We'll talk to you later.